I have spent probably ten to twenty thousand hours of my life fishing docks. And when I watch other people fish docks around me, it blows my mind how many fish you could have caught if you took the time to actually know how to fish a dock. You too. Yeah. Mm, that's a good one. That was a real good one. Welcome back to Turner Fishing. This is Steven Turner. So I know that intro was kind of a little cringeworthy, a little like, uh, what are you talking about, Steven? I've catch plenty of fish off docks. You know, that's awesome. Good for you. You know, I'm probably going to get comments like that down below. But these are for the people that, you know, I see a lot of people watch my videos and they go fish these docks that I fish in the videos, which I'm perfectly fine with. By all means, go catch you a limit of fish, put some food on your table because that's what this channel is about. That's why you should hit that red button down there because I want to teach you how to catch more lemons. But let, let's just let's deep dive into this. In the clips in today's video, you know how we do these videos. I'm going to explain what I'm doing how I'm doing it, and then I'm gonna show you an example of what I'm talking about. All right, so we're gonna take this trusty, trusty, trusty container. This is gonna be our dock, all right? Let me grab a jig. Well, actually, I'm gonna grab a buzzing toad. Not released yet. Catching some big ones on it though. Just so you can see it better. This is your floating dock, all right? Now the end over here is connected to the bank just so you can see everything. When I watch people fish docks, they get up to the dock, they're gonna throw to it and let it come back. They get on the other side, throw to it, and let it come back. Throw to it and let it come back. Now you may catch fish. Big tip, big tip coming up. Hit the smash, the like button like it owes you money go hit it when you do this it works when it's overcast conditions and early in the morning let me re let me repeat that overcast conditions early in the morning you want to stay away from the dock and throw to the dock because the fish will be actually outside of the dock feeding best time early in the morning before the sun gets up or overcast conditions. Now, once you get a little sun on the water, things change. But that doesn't mean that you can't go out here like I do in this video and actually get them to bite. What do the fish do when the sun comes out? Simple question, simple answer. The fish are up under this floating dock. They're under here. You know, this floating dock, you can't skip. You can, it has no holes in it. it. You can't take a long pole and drop in a hole like we've been doing on one of the docks down in, you know, on the lake. But we ain't talking about that right now. All right, so the fish are here. How, how do you get to them? That's what I don't see people doing. The sun is it's noon and the sun's way up in the sky. They're throwing, letting it come back, letting it come back. They'll throw down the side of it and let it come by, come down the side, which you that will catch fish, which I'm going to explain. But when they're under here, this is how you catch them. This is the whole point of the whole video. Pay attention, guys. Here we go. When the fish are under the dock, you have three ways to catch them. Hey, number one, I made a video about this in the past. You can go check it out on the video. I don't even remember the name of it. We done made a bunch of videos. We're almost at 10,000 subscribers. Unreal. So, literally, you take your long pole and you stick it under here. And you catch them. You literally ram your whole pole under the dock. That's one way to get to them. Now, is it fun? No, because if the wind's blowing, it's really hard not to... The mess up your rod doing it but 
you know, if you have live scope, it works because you can actually see that you're in the right spot. For two way to catch these fish that are under this dock, you have no way to skip it, no way to do anything. Wait for the wind to be blowing. Simple, right? When the wind starts blowing, you take you a 164 ounce crappy man jig head, throw you on a little minna, a little stinker, something. And if the fish are here, you throw down the dock to here. Right there. And what, if the wind is blowing into the dock here, now if the wind's blowing here, you're going to do it on the opposite side. But you got wind blowing into the dock here. You throw your jig past the dock, the wind is going to push the 164 ounce jig head. That's why we love these small jig heads. The wind is going to push it under this dock as it's falling back to you. And it's going to be right there in that strike zone. And that's how I was catching them in this video. Now, the third way to catch them is, is almost just like the wind. If you have current in your lake, you literally throw into the current and let the current wash your jig up under the dock. Now, you know, that, that may be simple enough for you. But it could be, you know, confusing. But, alright, I'm going to break down the dock in today's video right now. So, as you can see from the picture that's above my voice, we have two poles right here. Alright, and we've got a floating dock. The fish were positioned behind these two poles, but they were under the dock. So, the only way I could target them is to skip way up under this uh, pontoon boat lift thing and I would have to go past the other pole to give my jig enough time to fall and wash right in their face and that's how we were catching these fish we were fishing extremely clear water the wind was blowing about eight to ten mile an hour and I was using the color bluegill which just released on the website it's an extremely natural color You've got a lot of fry and everything hatching right now. It's a killer color, guys. And like clear water, that's probably my go-to color now is bluegill. It's released in a little minnow and a little stinker on the website right now. Go order you some. Grab you some 164-ounce jig heads. Enjoy today's clips of skipping way up under this dock and letting the wind push my jig under here and catch them. Get out there. Stop fishing these docks like a total, I don't even know. Get these limits in your boat, guys, and I'll catch y'all on the next. So, I mean, I learned a lot off YouTube, too. Yeah. That's a good one. He was on the that was a good, real good one. Oh, that's a damn They're going right there. He haul. <laughs> Me too. I remember one tournament I fished, man, I backlash, I blowed up real three, four times, had to put new line. <laughs> there he is. Oh, dang. Oh, damn, he hung right there, dude. <laughs> Yes, sir. I knew that was a haul stub, but when I seen him, I said, shit, that, that crap it is. It's scary. Oh, it took a while. We found some. Yes, sir. Right there on that little minna. That daggone good one right there. Shoo! Nice stub. Ooh, I seen you miss that. I see him hit you both. 
Fatties over here. 